Something that kept her, is that correct? That's right. Tell me, Rowena, what do you do? Well, I'm an actress, singer, and drama teacher. A drama teacher? That is correct. How long have you been a drama teacher for? Oh, a few years now. Is that so? That's mm -hmm. most interesting. How would you go about teaching me drama? Now, what would be the first thing that you would do with me in drama? Well, um, I suppose we could always start with the old how now, brown cow. Shall we try it? You want me to say that now? Yes, why not? <laughs> we'll do it together. Right. Okay. Right. Here we go. No. How, how now, now brown, brown cow. cow. Oh, Very good. Is that good? <laughs> you know, I, I went to school, I went to drama school with my father, Michael Miles. You <laughs> and he used to say a thing, and I want to see if, you, see if you can say it. And it's very simple. It is, I'm going to chew, chew, chew till my jaws drop off. Now, I want to hear you say that, and you must say it, and keep on saying it nice and fast. Chew, chew, chew till my jaws drop I'll off. I'll tell you what, you sit the other with me. Let's say this one together. All right, off you go. Okay. Right, right, right. I'll follow you. No, you start. You start. <laughs> Right, off you go. Right. I'm, I'm going to choo 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 till my jaws drop off. My jaws aren't going to drop off. <laughs> 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 what else? What else do you teach at this drama school? I mean, you, you teach uh, dramatic acting and stuff, love scenes. And... Oh, love scenes, yes. Yeah. Do you? I'm quite partial to them. Are you? Have you been taught any recently? <laughs> well, no, actually, I have. I mean, you know, I mean, I've, I've had experience in the theater, but I haven't been taught. I mean, well, this is opportunity not. <laughs> I think it is. I mean, well, could you teach me a love scene? Have we got the time? Yes. yes. <laughs> Can we stand up to do it? <laughs> you want me to stand up? All right, I stand up right now. What, okay. now tell me, what do, I, what do I do? Just put your right. chair back. Fine, right. And what happens? Right, first of all, yes. your mind has to be a complete blank. <laughs> <laughs> you mind your own thing. Right, a complete blank. Right. Ready? Now, you've got to pretend that I'm a beautiful, passionate, sexy French woman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you I ready? Have, I don't have to pretend too hard. So <laughs> right, All right, I'll put the action on. Right. right, right. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready, right. You, my darling, I've waited so long to get you alone. Put your arms around me. Yay. Right now. I love, I love that. She's holding me, and I'm holding her, and they're getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to have you here. You're great Now, tell us, who are you, Rowena, going to introduce to us here today? I'm going to introduce my brother, Roger Kitter. I see. How old is Roger? He's 19 years old, just. Just. And he wants to be a comedian impressionist. I see. Friends for comedian impressionists. Friends, we want to see him for Roger Kitter. Opportunity not. <laughs> It's nice to be on the show because it's a friendly show. I mean, we've got Huey over there, and apart from doing the show this week, and playing Don Juan with my sister, apart from doing that, you know, he's just finished writing a play for himself and Bridget Bardo. A true. Starts off with him and her kissing and cuddling for 20 minutes. <laughs> then the curtain goes up and the play begins. <laughs> well, I knew the producer liked me because he's such a friendly chap. When I walked in, I said to him, how close should I stand to the camera to make me look good? He said, have you got a car? <laughs> the television's like that nowadays. I've been watching some of the old films they've been showing recently. What knocks me out is how some of these actors can look so good when they've been dead for 20 years. <laughs> Work it out. It takes a bit of time, that one. We'll wait. We'll wait. But mind you, my favorite program finished about eight weeks ago. It was the Dave Allen Show. Uh, but what we'll have to do, we'll imagine we're in the Dave Allen studio and we're watching the Dave Allen Show. If Dave Allen was here tonight, he'd do the show something like this. Thank you, Owen. Good evening. <laughs> Little Irish fella come on to England. And he goes to the income tax office. He's in dreadful trouble. My wife has disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> the fellow said, it's all very well. He said, but this is the income tax office. Do you want to go to the police station? He said, you're not going to catch me out again. He said, I went to the police last time and they found her. <laughs> Mind you, there are some programs that whenever they're on, we'd always stay at home to watch them. And my personal favourite is the Frost program. <laughs> Thank you, 
kindly good evening and welcome. <laughs> the Minister of Housing said in a speech yesterday, and I quote, there's no such thing as a housing problem. These are just nasty rumours put about by people who have got nowhere to live. <laughs> well then, thank you kindly, there's a story, the story of the drunk who thought he was an aeroplane. He climbed to the top of a London hotel and jumped off. He didn't hurt himself, he fell three floors and two men hijacked him and made him fly to Cuba. <laughs> Finally, after last week's budget, Mr Roy Jenkins was standing in Trafalgar Square. He looked up and saw the pigeons flying around and said, go on, you might as well, everyone else does. 